It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from North Brewing Company and it's a can of their ornament. It's a session Kvik IPA coming in at 4.1% ABV. 330 milliliter can. Without further ado, let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. So this beer is brand new for Tesco. I don't know for sure if it's a new beer for North Brewing Company, if they've brewed it exclusively for Tesco or it's part of their regular range of beers that they, they, that they have on their shelves at North and they just put it into Tesco. But it, it launched into Tesco on the 14th of September 2020. I managed to pick it up yesterday in my local Tesco. It was like a slow kind of rollout for all these beers. I picked it up on the 19th, about six days later. Hang on a minute, no. 14th and I, five days, five days later. <laughs> you know my math is very good, yeah? <laughs> so the Kvik yeast is a Norwegian style of yeast that works very much like the New England style yeast that they use in America where it's a very clean yeast it ferments a lot of the the sugars out from the beer and, and it's 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 a very very clean clean fast fast and that's the important thing fast yeast for the brewers to use uh, we got a three finger white head good levels of carbonation rolling up the glass and it's a nice straw coloured you can see the carbonation there if I hold it at that angle if we get it to focus yeah there you go yeah a straw coloured hazy looking beer let's get the aroma it smells good lots of, lots of tangerine passion fruit, mango, quite a dry aroma to it, slightly kind of spicy and dry. It smells pretty good, let's dive in. Cheers everybody. Look around for a clock then. I've not only got a, an Alexa in the corner, but it's gone. Gone. We got shot of it. Quarter to one in the afternoon. On a Sunday. I like a Sunday drink. So flavour wise, yeah that dryness comes through, that spiciness comes through. It's jammy, tart like, fantastic flavours for a 4.1% ABV beer. It's very, very kind of light, drinkable, refreshing. orange peel fleshy blood orange but that it's the story of the dryness for me it's quite a dry beer with the spiciness and the pepperiness on the back end but I really like it good lacing on the glass lovely lovely looking beer not much really to say here on the can it's been brewed with barley oats hops and yeast and kind of that's it, um, brewed in Canada North Brewing Company, Taverners Walk Estate in Leeds. There we go. Enjoyable, very enjoyable. Um, ornament, a 330 milliliter can. I would buy this. If, they, if, they, if North Brewing Company decided to put that in the four pack, the cardboard boxes, the little four pack, I'd be all over that. Absolutely all over that.
you're kind of two for nine range, two for nine pound. It makes it like one pound 12 a can. At the moment, they're four for six. So you buy four cans, you pay six pound. That works out at one pound 50 a can. For the flavors in the beer, for what you're getting for one pound 50, it's absolutely incredible. It really is incredible. Really juicy and flavoursome. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. And you get that balance then kicks in. That lovely kind of light, little bit of sweetness over there from the malts, a little bit of bitterness and spiciness over there from the hops. And it's just a nicely balanced beer. I, I've mentioned on my channel so many times, and I've decided, I decided to do some reviews because I normally like to, to relax and chill out in my garden pardon me on a Sunday and do a roast dinner late afternoon and do my beer reviews at night on a Sunday night but I thought I would let you into my little world of the kitchen at one o'clock in the afternoon because I like it, it, I mean no problem at all I, I like it I like a beer on a Sunday afternoon I know, I knew a bloke once who used to bang on the pub door at 12 on a Sunday, waiting for it to open. It was just, growing up, one of those, it was just one of those days. You know, you either, you either went to church or you either, you either, you know, it was either a holy day for you or it was something else. And for a lot of people, it was, it was something else. And, and the, the trouble is with a Sunday is that, that there's a lot... There's a lot closed. Well, there was when I was a kid. There wasn't that much open on a Sunday, apart from the pub. So you 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 generally kind of gravitate towards the pub and have a couple of games of pool or you know um, play some skittles or, or something. I, I like that. I like a Sunday drink. I always I always like a Sunday drink. It's been kind of like knitted into the fabric of my mind now. Um, so welcome. Welcome to the Stone Crow Virtual Pub at one o'clock. It's not live, it's pre-recorded, 10 to 1 on a, on a Sunday afternoon. I like that, I like the yeast. The yeast is very kind of, it's almost giving it like a slightly kind of estery kind of spiciness to it that's coming through. Not quite Belgium, not quite German. Yeah, it's a good yeast. It's a decent yeast. And I'm a massive fan of North Brewing Company. I've been to the North. I went in North Bad in 2012. Loved it. Thought it was brilliant. Lots of beer to be drank. They give you a menu when you go in. And it's full of beer. Just incredible. Absolutely incredible. <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> so, it's nice to see that they've gravitated towards make building their own kind of brewery and not just having a a bar there so um, i'm going to rate it north brewing company ornament session creek ipa looks good smells good oh, it's got a lovely aroma when you really mix it up and get your nose in it's really punchy for 4.1 percent abv I like that enough to give it, for me, 4.1% ABV. That's a really decent beer. It's an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.